the fall of Constantinople and the rise of Istanbul. The Byzantine Empire has a long history of wars, which stretches from 5th century to 13th century. During Constantine I reign, the decline of the Rome and the rise of Byzantine occurred almost simultaneously. Byzantine became the capital city of the empire during CE 324 and by 330 CE Constantine renamed the city connected to Constantinople. This was the first empire which rose with the support of Christian Orthodox Church. During the time of Christian invasion at Rome, various libraries and temples were destroyed. But Byzantine Empire managed to keep those civilizations alive and managed to merge with the European civilizations. During 537 CE, Byzantine Emperor Justinian built the great church, the Hagia Sophia or Hagia Sophia or the Church of Great Wisdom which added glory to the empire. After that, he expanded his empire. During his time, Byzantine was at its supreme glory. The early years of 5th century witnessed various conflicts with Byzantine and its neighboring countries, which increased during the course of time. Between 602 and 628, there were numerous wars fought between Byzantine and Sassanian Empire, which led to the decline of the empire's resources. Between 629 to 1050, the empire faced numerous Arab invasions. During this period, they lost few of their territories. However, they managed to regain the control over some of their lost territories. During 630, Arabia turned out to be a major power and Byzantine lost Egypt and Syria, which was the most important and richest provinces of Constantine kingdom. Between 674 to 678, Arabia tried to conquer Constantinople, but with the help of Greek fire, Byzantine won the war. Western Frankish king Charles Magni was crowned as the emperor of Rome. And during CE 800, Byzantium reduced to the status of Greek Empire. During the rule of Basil II, 867 to 1056, the empire annexes many more territories, which added more feathers to the cap of success. 1071 was the time for Manzikert battle. This battle laid the way for the Turks to settle in Anatolia, which was one of the major turning points of history of Europe and Asia. The Comanian restoration during the 12th century paved the way for the Constantinople Empire to regain its glory, which then became the wealthiest city of Europe. But again, the Fourth Crusade sacked the city and its territories were destroyed. Though Constantinople remained a dazzling city, its political power started deteriorating during thousand hundreds. The plague struck Byzantine and cleared off two-thirds of its population during 1347. During 1422, the Turks once again laid siege to Constantinople, but a rebellion within the Ottoman Empire brought the siege to an end. C. 1449 is the year when Constantine XI became the emperor of Byzantine. After that, in the year 1451, a 19-year-old Sultan Mehmed II comes to the power over the Ottoman Empire, which paved the way for the continuous decline of Constantinople. He did all the necessary preparations for the capture of Constantinople. To have a close proximity over Constantinople, he built a castle on the banks of the Bosporus, 
which was completed in August. Later, in January 1453, Mehmed hires Hungarian armaments makers to build a huge cannon within the city of the Constantinople siege. And in March, the cannons arrived at the Constantinople. On 5th April 1453, Mehmed arrived on the outskirts of the city and on 6th April 1453, the Turkish warriors took over their positions to begin the siege of the city of Constantinople. On 12th April 1453, the Turkish had established many cannons, each of which had guns aimed at Constantinople and its extensive defense wall. Mehmed ordered for a night assault on 18th April 1453 against the Constantinople's military, after which the Turks were defeated in the intense sea battle by the Christian ships of Genoa, sent by the popes on April 20, 1453, which was a huge loss for the Turks. Meanwhile, when the Turks tried to enter the fort, they were defeated. This is the time when Constantinople had to face a few success and failure patterns of the crucial battles manifests. But Constantine's defeat was certain when the rescue ship from Europe, which was conveying the food on request, lost its way and returned back and when the heavy fog engulfed the city on May 25, 1453. The people of Constantinople considered this as a sign of mishap. On May 26 and 27, by filling the cannons with granite cannonballs on the trenches of Constantinople's castle, the Turks ensured the victory over Constantinople. On May 28, 1453, both the troops had a prayer meet at the Divine Church, Hagia Sophia, after which he proceeded to the war. On May 29, at 1 am, the Turks attacked the Constantinople. Their protective barriers were defeated. Christianites, who were a savior of Constantinople, abandoned the city. During this fight, the Constantine was killed and the huge kingdom of Constantinople was collapsed. On that afternoon, the Sultan enters the city on the horseback and visits the divine church Hagia Sophia. And this was the end of the series of battle which lasted for thousands of years. Sultan Mehmed ordered for the restructuring of Hagia Church and converted it to a mosque. It will be fascinating and interesting to say that these kingdoms and the current regime in Turkey had a belief that whoever is ruling the Constantinople will rule the world. And they fought battle after battles to get the supremacy over this church and city. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe and share our video.